I was a lot worse than your casters. Yeah, I, I, I put the casting on and like very, very, very cringe. I feel like they they try a little bit too hard to be down with the kids, you know? I mean, the, honestly, the issue is the issues of fucking Overwatch Esports is, let's be real, Overwatch Esports feels like um, a rec league compared to the top Esports. Like, it doesn't, like, it's not compare. When you watch LCS versus when you watch Overwatch League, the difference is like so, like, it's night and day the difference. Like, it's genuinely night and day. Wow, dude, there's 8.1K viewers on Overwatch. I am the top Overwatch streamer right now. That's how dead the fucking category is. Jesus Christ. Like, it's not that, it's not the players. It's the production quality is awful. The casting is bad. The game is bad. It's not LAN, it's all online. It, it literally, yeah, it literally feels like like League of Legends Masters. That's what it feels like. Yeah, and the stream quality was terrible, right? The stream quality, the most important day in your fucking company's, like, like in Overwatch history, the stream was unwatchable at points. No, they're not playing land. They're playing online. Well, some games are on land. Like I think the like the Washington. Or like the, the Houston versus Dallas game was online. I mean, the, the biggest problem with Overwatch Esports, I've said this from day one, is it's just not a good spectator game. It's not a good game to watch. It's way too fast paced and way too chaotic and crowded. It's virtually unwatchable unless you have a pretty, pretty good understanding of what's going on. Like if you're a casual viewer, you've never played the game before. Like if you're a casual viewer or you're a new viewer, you genuinely don't understand a thing. Like, actually not a fucking thing. League is slow, but I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, League League is League is a game that's that's un, that, that you don't understand what you're going on um, unless you play the game. But once you understand the game, I think even a little bit, like following professional play is pretty easy. Because the game is very intuitive, and the game specifically what makes League great as an esport is the pacing of the game is really good. Like, there is na there's naturally the game's a slow paced game, but it has bursts of action. And then there's time in between team fights to talk about what's what was going on and the like what happened to do action replays, right? Um, whereas in Overwatch you can't do that because everything is so fucking fast paced. Everything's so fast paced, there's fights all the time. There's no downtime in between um, in between fights. Which means that at the end of the day, you just you just end up having a, like basically a simulation overload. Like you just go full chugalepsy. I didn't get power punch there. Kind of a big, big feeling sad. But in a game like, um, like in my opinion, a game like League of Legends has a much better pacing because the early game in general is very slow and methodical with big bursts of action whenever like a gank goes off or like a team decides to do a turret dive early. But generally it's slow and methodical. And then later on it's like big team fights in between like long bouts of macro and strategical play, right? And then, then you have CS where there's a natural reset between rounds, right? Where you have you know, the first generally 30 seconds of the round are again, nice and slow. Oh, that's not, that's not the point. Um, are nice and slow and methodical. And then, and then you have these big bursts where they go onto the site and then you get these clutch moments. But then in between the rounds, you have a nice sort of two minutes break in between the action where you can sort of talk about what happened in the previous round and what you think they're gonna, okay, maybe we've got A three rounds in a row. Maybe you think that going B is gonna do them better have more success, etc, etc. Yeah, you're not wrong, Chuckster. If they did the player comms, they'd have to monitor that shit really hard. Good idea what's going on CSGO? Well, CSGO is better because it's, it's intuitive, right? You see man shoot head, shoot head, man die. Equals bomb plant, bomb blow, bomb win. It's very, very easy to understand in comparison to uh, a game like Overwatch or even a game like League of Legends. Like, that was kind of nasty. Overwatch is easy to stand up. People can't. I think they troll it. That's because you played the game a lot. 
But like, like I, I have a mate who, who's played Overwatch before, but you know, he played it like 2016 when it released, right? I doesn't play it. I, and, and he was watching Overwatch League, right? Because Chris was playing, right? And his friends of Chris as well. And, and he was like, I literally have no fucking idea what's going on. Combine that with the fact that it was lagging like fucking shit. Uh, it's not, it's not a good combination. You know, people have played the game, so it's hard to follow because of chaotic it is. Well, there's a difference between understanding it and actually understanding it, right? Like this, and, and, and this is this is why I generally don't watch Overwatch with the casting on, is that the casters don't actually understand what's going on, really. They just they just basically are reading the kill feed. So like when whenever I watch it, like like somebody like me who has a pretty sophisticated understanding of the game, like it gets very, very frustrating watching these fucking idiot commentators talk and everything they say, well, not everything they say, but a lot of what they say is just not accurate. It, it was especially, the, i tell you when it was most prevalent was when Monte Cristo was in the league. Because that guy was so unbelievably smug. Like, like, and he really thought he understood the game in a, at a deep depth and he really didn't at all. You ask any pro player what he thought about Monte Cristo's game since he doesn't have any of it. And I always wonder as well, I wonder if he was like that for League of Legends. I don't know. Because I always used to thought when I watched League of Legends he was pretty knowledgeable, right? But maybe that's just because I didn't understand League of Legends at all. But their entire backline is like totally isolated. Because I really should be like fucking hard dead. Well, Semler just didn't have a fucking clue. Semler literally was like, I have no fucking idea what's going on here. And same with Doa. Doa literally had no fucking idea. It was hilarious, actually. Especially Doa. Watching Doa, watching Doa talk, it's like, they get everything wrong. You get the wrong hero names, wrong old names and shit. It's so funny. Because you're so fucking bad. But Overwatch, honestly, the, the, like, I, Jenny, there's only been, like, one, like, really good caster in Overwatch history, and that's fucking, uh, uh what's he called? Uber. Everyone else has been either mediocre or bad. I like Zoe. Zoe's a good, like, Zoe's a good host, I think. She's a good interviewer as well. Mr. X is fine. I don't think Mr. X is bad. I don't think Lemon Kiwi's bad at casting. I just think she tries, Le Lemon Kiwi tries too hard to be funny, I think. And she misses way more often than she hits. She was hate for that interview. That was classic interview, actually. Oh my god. Oh, chat. Ch oh, ch oh my god, chat. Here's the story. You know that interview I did with Zoe? You know who was jealous afterwards? Fucking Sam was jealous. She thought I was gonna fuck her. It's like, what? It was a fucking Overwatch League interview, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm not even kidding as well. I'm literally not even kidding. She was a little bit pissed. I was like, what? Because she thought I was like flirting with her or something. I don't think I was flirting with her. Flirting is too obvious. Wow. What a way to set it up. Yeah, I indeed am joined by, some call him a secret weapon. Others may call him an elusive unicorn of the Overwatch League. I just call you Chipsaw, I guess. And thank you very much for joining so me. So fat, I know. Hey, it's nice to be here. Thank you. Uh, so you're a uh, one and zero, undefeated. Uh, what does that mean to you personally? Well, I mean, it's to be expected. I mean, pretty <laughs> okay. much the best player. I would argue the best player to ever live. But you know, you, you you can say whatever you want. It's fine. But you know, I mean, what else do you expect from me? Undefeated. You know, best player. Let it me is what it is. Yeah, it is that, that, that uh, confidence, but also the humble attitude. Oh, look at my awesome. bed. Oh, fuck! I miss this bed, bro. I miss this bed. To you, actually. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I mean. <laughs> Sorry, go on. No, please continue. I'm just saying. Uh, so I am. Be I am being humble. Look at, look at it, dude. <laughs> Even though I'm saying all these yeah. things, that's that's me being. I just, humble. I just so, so you know, I'm that so just shows what kind of level I'm on compared to everyone else. Probably the most humble, actually. I think we could, we could actually Definitely. say that. Definitely. 100%. Yeah. Now, uh, in terms of uh, you playing, I mean, there News? were lots of highlights, obviously. Okay, I can't watch this. I'm too fucking ugly.